Sometimes life throws us curveballs, especially with young children. If your child is experiencing a developmental delay or is injured, your doctor may recommend a pediatric rehab program. October is National Physical Therapy Month, and Ascension Providence Rehabilitation Specialist Becky Kolar, Sharon Eva, and Jessica Bayama join us to uh, tell us more about what parents need to know about pediatric rehab. I guess, you know, it, it, you don't expect anything to be wrong with a child, but sometimes there are developmental things that maybe the pediatrician's picking up on, maybe the parent is. What are the main things, Becky, that somebody should look for? We usually see kiddos that have neurological deficits, um, congenital, congenital delays, we have developmental delays. If a kiddo is not speaking by age one, um, they should at least be saying a few words and at two, two to three words, um, it goes by age. So at three, they should have three word sentences. Um, two, they should have two word phrases. So we look to see if there's speech delays, um, clumsiness in physical therapy. Um, there's many things that we see, articulation, um, reading deficits. If a child is not speaking and they need a communication device, we could help them with that. Um, also have these beautiful therapist here to help <laughs> right, talk right. about the physical therapy needs and the um, also what we see with occupational therapy as well. Yeah, well Sharon, let's mm -hmm. uh, start with you as a, what, what kind of drew you to this line of work? I'm sure there are lots of different things you could have done when mm -hmm. you studied, but what drew you to it? Yeah, so uh, I love working with all kinds of kiddos with all kinds of delays and the most rewarding thing, what really brought me to this career is seeing them progress, seeing them reach motor milestones and um, seeing them just progress in their goals and then taking that to their parents and showing them and being able to help them across various environments and uh, just succeed in engaging with others in their environment successfully is really rewarding to see. Well, even, and even little, you know, little steps forward, Jessica, can be you know, monumental mm -hmm. for a child. Um, yourself, you know, what kind of drew you to this and, and what is rewarding to you? I think, along with Sharon, kind of seeing that progress, but um, I treat a lot of kids too in the orthopedic setting. Um, we have a great doctor who specializes in pediatrics um, with orthopedics. And so seeing the kids go from having an injury that they think is going to stop their um, season or their career to being able to return to that is something really special to me. Um, as well as we treat a condition called torticollis, which is in our little kids. So parents may notice their head preference to one side or look like they have a tilt um, regularly and at that will kind of remain throughout. And so seeing those kids who initially had difficulty um, getting their motor milestones kind of pick up and go with their peers is really beneficial for us. Oh, Becky, how can folks get in touch and learn more? Maybe they, a parent has a, you know, an issue they want to just have evaluated. They could call our office. We, um, we're at the Woodway Medical Plaza and we have a 751-4133. And then we also, they could talk to their physician and get the physician to send over a referral for services. Um, we offer aquatic pool therapy to help kiddos and also we do pet therapy. Oh that is yeah, really fun. That, that's right. wonderful for the kids. <laughs> so. Well, a wide range of children's ages that you deal with, wide range of issues, uh, but getting that therapy is crucial. Thank you all so much yes. for being with us.